I have no regrets about losing my sight the way I did because I would have never had the opportunity to do the things I've done. I went into the military in 1990 after um, ROTC, after four years of ROTC, they lost my paperwork. So I never was commissioned and was able to go to airborne school, so I enlisted into the military. Um, and I did 13 years and six months. I ended up contracting tuberculosis for my roommate in Colorado, and the medication was toxic and caused my retina and um, optic nerve to deteriorate. After 9-11, I was not able to qualify with the M16, so I was considered not eligible to go overseas and fight, so I was medically discharged. When I first got discharged, totally depressed and it was difficult and it was only through my faith in God and my family to say you can keep you can go on you can do this have a good day there's something about adaptive sports and being out here together we feed off of one another the thrill of the overcoming something um, just like I saw my buddy today, um, Hillary, she climbed the wall and I, I know she's got to be 100 pounds smaller than me and 50 years younger, but it gave you the drive to do it. It's okay. This is okay. Very good. Michonne has just used her disability as okay. Uh, she gets her back arched and I'm going to conquer this thing. She doesn't let it not only slow her down, but she uses her challenges and her successes to inspire other veterans who struggle with challenges as far as whether it be visual challenges, whether it be physical challenges, whatever the case may be, she is just such an inspirational person to be around. She has been that power hitter for us out on the golf course. So it's like, I want to be just like you when I grow up. <laughs> well, I try to imitate her because I think she's doing so well. And I'd be like, did I hit my ball as far as she hit hers? I love the challenge. You know, even you look at people like Tiger Woods and stuff, it's still a challenge even at his best day, it's still a challenge. And I think that's what I like about golf. You can't, you can't master it. <laughs> the highlight for today, I think, is just seeing how we came together as a group. It's just fun being around other people who are excited for you to do well, not just for you to do well. We do everything together as a team, and nobody is competing against one another, not that I see. We're all here to help one another. I think the thing with adaptive sports is that someone's always watching you. And now if I, if I hit the ball two feet or uh, 2,000 feet, they're out there clapping for me. And that's what matters, is like, even at, at your worst, your buddies think you're the best. And that's what I think in adaptive sports, it just brings out the, the best in you, even on your worst day. <laughs>